الإمام الحسين أكثر من قوله إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون Then the Imam, the first thing he did was he got up and said أين حميدة Where is the daughter of Muslim? Remember, Muslim was married to the sister of Imam al Hussein, which makes Hamida his little niece. Hamida was different from all of the other girls because they say that as they, the caravan proceeded towards Kufa, the one who was most excited was Hamida. She would tell the other girls that we're going to meet my father when we get there. Imam al Hussein said, Where is Hamida? Bring her to me. So they went and they brought this little girl to her uncle Aba Abdullah. The Imam sat down. He had Hamida sit in his lap. He began kissing her face. He began wiping her head. He began treating her the way he treated orphans. So she looked up and said, Ya, Ya, Ya Aba Abdullah, Oh uncle, Hal hasal liwalidi makruh? Has something happened to my father? Why am I being treated differently right here? So Aba Abdullah consoled her and said, that I will be your father and my daughters will be your sisters. Don't worry about anything. Now who's witnessing all of this? Fatima bint al Hussein. Sukaina is also witnessing the scene of Aba Abdullah comforting the orphan Hamida bint Muslim. So she kept this in her heart until the day of Ashura when Aba Abdullah was bidding his family farewell. At some point, the Imam noticed that one of the girls was holding the leg of the horse. He looked and it was his daughter Sukaina. Oh Sukaina, what are you doing? She said, oh father, I know you're going to go, but you're not coming back. I want you to come off your horse and do to me what you did to Hamida bin Muslim. I want you to treat me the way you treat the orphans. Aba Abdullah alighted from the horse. He took, he took his daughter Sukaina and he began comforting her. He said to her, don't worry, don't cry. I can't bear to see you cry. After I'm dead, you can do whatever you want, but not now. Sukaina wouldn't cry until the eve of that night when she saw her aunt Zainab at the body that she couldn't recognize or identify. She came to her aunt Zainab. Whose body is this? Oh my aunt Zainab. I can't recognize it. He is surrounded by arrows and spears. This is your father, O So he started crying and wailing. But instead of comforting his orphan, and how 